Well, oh, Ranger Cookie. And today I'm using my GPS watch to find out how far is my new trail and how long it takes me to get there. I'm going to go straight there, straight to my camp and see how long it takes. Right now I'm getting the, the GPS location with the satellites. I hope the bad weather, bad weather, is not keeping the uh, satellites from getting touch contact with my GPS watch. All right, uh, me and Mike, we've, I finally finished the trail to the new, uh, my camp. It took me three days. The reason why it's thick, you'll see it in the videos. And today, like I said, I'm using my GPS watch. Let's see how far it is to get to base. Come on. What's taking so long? And I'm thinking about doing some tagging, but I'm going to tag the trail on the way back with my my uh, little tack, my trail tacks, and some flagging. Just for those new guys who come to my camp can get out of here in an emergency situation. There's one, two, three, four, four routes to get to my camp now. One's extremely emergency route, which is up there. The second route is right here, which is really the new route. The old route was the trail by up there, and the other route is on the road. Okay, we're ready. Let's go. I'm going to time it all the way to base, because, uh, not base. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and base. Or this time it to Hobo. From Hobo, I know from Hobo to base is so far, so many distance. So we're going to find out how many distances to uh, Hobo. So come along with me and let's see what this is all about. I see the water seed a lot. Since you last seen this, one thing about all that wind, boy, a branch will fall and hit your brains, and you're dead. There's a couple places in my trail I need to open up. I'm going to show you the first one. The minute, the minute you walk into the into the damn place. Okay, I got my cans. It's a tight squeeze. And I found, like I said, in my other videos, I found that old house. Alright, here's the first tight squeeze. I need to cut that tree out right there. <laughs> I need to take out some branches around here too. This is a called a tunnel trail. And here's that old house. Or trailer. Or shed. It's kind of small for a house, so it had to be a shed or some type. And there's an old shed. Man, you think the trail's that way, but this way. We got so many hidden trails. I might put a faint camp out here to scare people to go any further. Oh, it's just a bunch of kids. 
I'm gonna put a old towel out here, an old sheet. And I think it's kids. Because kids don't know better. They use a sheet or a blanket for cover or something. And oh yeah, it's just a bunch of kids. They don't know what they're doing. Think about putting that fake camp right up here by this nice old tree. So when they come, somebody does come out here, they'll see that fake campsite. I believe it's kids or... They won't even bother going no further because it stops. Because they got hidden trails out here. You know, I'm so upset. When I was making this trail, I lost my little knife, my little more. The knife I was given to me from my friend. I've been using it every day. You know, I wanted to go buy a, a metal detector to find that son of a bitch. That's how important that little knife is. I was cutting. I guess while I was cutting, I had it tied. My little more tied. To where, you know, where it usually is. And I lost it. I was so upset. I was so pissed. I, I, I searched for almost an hour, a couple, two hours looking for that little knife. I couldn't find it. Thought about buying a, a metal detector to see if I could find the, the damn thing. So you will never see that little knife around my neck no more because I lost it. I hope I find it one day walking through the trails. And I was going to ask any of my YouTubers if they'd like to send me a little more knife or a little neck knife. I would really appreciate it. But I don't want to be a beggar. But I'm not begging. It is begging. But I want this knife to be special. I don't want a normal knife. I don't want to buy a knife. I want a knife that somebody has given me as a gift. I tried to use the stuff that people gave me already. I got this little lighter uh, Phyllis gave me. It's on my shoulder over here. I try to incorporate things that I've been given into my suits and my gear. Sometimes it's hard to incorporate stuff because it's so... Like, I got so many of them, but this is a gift and this is not, so I'm going to use this. Number, a trade is nothing to me. We trade it. That's your property. But if you gave me that gift, or gave me that item, it's going to be cherished. One thing about me, I will always cherish an item that was given to me. Like I got Dolly Polonese knife right here. That was gave it to me. I finally got it incorporated in my my uh, suit. I got one more knife. I, I I'm using Tom's knife, but it's in my uh, bug out bag. He gave me a more also, but I'm not looking for a more a big knife. I'm looking for a little neck knife. So if y'all think in your heart that I deserve or maybe I'd like to give me one, I want you to go out and use that thing. Then say, look Ranger Cookie, this is a knife I use and I'm sending it to you. Trust me, I'll cherish that knife like a like I'm ready to go buy a metal detector just to find the knife I lost because it was so important to me. That knife is more important to me than any uh or any knife I have. Because it was given to my friend that passed away. Alright, and this is a, a, a shout out. Uh, I'm tagging Brian to do a creation video. What is a creation video? Is why you making a YouTube channel 
and just tell us why you made it or why you started a YouTube channel and uh, tell us about you know why and uh, second challenge I've given to you where's your back door basically I'm asking you where's your closest park Let's say if you want to invite somebody over to your house, but you don't want them to come to your house because you don't really trust them, or you just knowing somebody, and you just want to meet at this park, so you say, well, we'll meet at this park tomorrow at 12 o'clock, and we go from there. It's called where, where's your back door? Okay, now. I remember right, I'm supposed to go to those two trees right there. So Brian, if you're listening or watching this video, I, be, I tagged you with two tags. Why did you create your YouTube channel? And where, where's your back door? You can go down and find my video, where's your, where's your back door at? And uh, watch the video, see what it's all about. Damn, I'm almost there. I like this new trail. I like it a lot. Uh, I can't remember which way to go. <laughs> Let's go this way. Nope, this way. There it is. I got so many damn hidden trails. That's a couple of turns you lost. Now here's my old trail. That I used to take. Now I'm taking a new trail. From that trail to this part. And from this part to Hobo. And I'm going to stop it and see how, how many miles it is. Then I get, I'll go home and I can put this on my computer. And find how many miles and the map location and everything. Oh, and one more thing. Um, I got my 300 subscriber. I'm going to be giving out a giveaway. But it's going to be a secret giveaway. When I reach 310 subscribers, I will post the giveaway video up called knowing the code so be looking for that video knowing the code is the secret giveaway you just have to answer a real survival question to win the prize that means anybody no VR if you like to give a VR you can if you just type at the bottom you can, and the first person who answered all the questions correctly to a real survival question or something you need to know wins the cookie kit. You have seen the cookie kit? I'm thinking about giving the little can out to my winner. So be wait be, be looking for my 310 subscribers and the video called the code. Watch the code 
Answer the codes, win the prize. Here's the cookie can. Um, I might make another video called What Bums Me Out. I've been wanting to do this for a while. But I'm going to try to make this video for my GPS. How many feet this is. Looks like I got here much faster than the other way. And that's about it. I'm almost there. I'm going to stop my GPS. Let me know how far I walked. And we'll see what's going on. How far this is. It's going to tell me a few seconds. What, how far it is. And I got to really look real quick. And I'm going to put the camera up so you can see yourself. Alright. Almost there. Alright, I'm here. Let's take a look. Okay, I'm right here. Ah, uh, that's even that's even better. 0 0.53 miles. 23 minutes. That's good. I like that. That's even closer. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I'll see you next next video. Look at Hobo. All right. Well, today I was at Hobo, where I'm at now, and I found this on my Hobo. It appears to be a snake got tangled up in some rope that ate a lizard. I just wanted to show you that. I'm like, why did this creature die? A snake don't get tangled up in string. It don't look like it's tangled, but it has a, a lizard in its in its body, and it's a little snake that's wrapped around. Maybe this thing was hot and it burnt them and cooked them, because sometimes those reptiles can't handle that heat, and I think that's what happened. This was really hot, and the snake bit that that lizard, and he just dangled on a rope. Tell me what y'all think. What do you think of what happened here? Alright, I'm Ranger Cookie. I'll see you next video.